Well, inside here at the Lyman Cold Storage where they keep some of the apples here, it's in the 30-degree mark. It's tonight when it's going to drop down into the 20s that has them concerned. You can see they have a lot of apples on cold storage here. Surprisingly, they'll have Empires and Red Delicious all the way through until the next harvest. But it's that next harvest that could be determined by tonight's cold temperatures. Have you ever seen blossoms out this early? No, this is a first for us. These blossoms are more than a month early, with Mother Nature's wild and crazy spring bouncing up into the 80s last week and now dipping into the 20s. At Lyman Orchards, they are watching the mercury closely because every single degree counts. The stage we're in now, you lose about 10% at about 28 degrees. If you drop another five degrees, you lose 90%. So that's where we are, very vulnerable to tonight. The State Department of Agriculture issued a frost warning to farmers, but John Lyman says there's really nothing you can do about it because of the wind, they can't spray the trees with water. Freezing them can lock in the heat. But even with the apples, which don't bloom until late April, they're starting to show now. They're a little more protected, but once they open up you know, and have green tissue, you're really vulnerable when you get to mid-20s. Connecticut isn't alone. Frost warnings have been issued from Vermont to West Virginia, Michigan to Pennsylvania. Tonight, crops are in real danger all across the north and east. You know, all the fruit and that comes from uh, the orchards here is just wonderful. And um, it's really sad to know that it could be lost tonight. We do apples, raspberries, pears, anything that's in season. We're always here. It would be sad. It's a family tradition. It's been a crazy 12 months, I'm telling you. So for the next 24 to 48 hours here at Lyman Orchards, they will be keeping a close eye on the temperature. As you hear, every degree counts. And they think they'll know just how much damage has been done over the next two or three days. I'm Bob Wilson on the scene at Lyman Orchards in Middlefield, News 8.